Okay, this is a quick set of photos on how I made my uh, long tail cargo e-bike. So first of all, I started off with a BMX frame which I had in the garage from when I was a teenager. And what you need to do is start to think about cutting the rear chain stays or a bit forward of that and adding in a piece of metal tubing. <clears throat> now this is sort of the structural backbone of the bike if you like, so the tube needs to be quite thick. And you just use a gasless MIG welder or something like this to weld that up. Make sure the tubing's clean and then just get on with it. And then next off you start adding in the bench seat at the back. You can use any kind of gauge tubing for this really. The thicker the better but obviously that's going to make your bike heavier and it's more difficult to bend. So here we have a close up. The thin tube's fine providing there's lots of it and they're not too widely spaced. It's more complicated with thin tubing. So next up, once you finish your welding, you just coat everything in a nice thick coat of paint. Maybe two coats. You can put it on with a paintbrush, so long as it's metal paint, that's the main thing. After that, you might want to go for a quick test drive, just to make sure everything's lined up properly and your bike's not sort of cycling on like a crab sideways or anything. And then the next thing is the most complicated. Really, you need to start thinking about adding in your electrics. Front wheel drive is probably best for simplicity purposes because you're not having to like add up, double up on your uh, driven rear wheel. Um, some people might say a rear hub mate is a pretty easy option, but if you if you want, then uh, I would probably go for a front uh, motor because it's out of the way of the rear wheel, which already has pedals and chains on it anyway, so it's already complicated enough. So first off, I used a chain driven option here which has got this rather ugly motor sticking out the side but it does look pretty sweet and it worked okay and it was really very really cheap and the second off I used this um, Bafang BPM hub motor which is quite a powerful one very high torque very good very pleased with it so once you've done that you've got your electric sorted out you can put a seat on all that sort of thing and um, you know, lights and get your ride position right and you've got yourself a good bike. Um, learn to weld and make sure you buy cheap electronics the first time around in case you screw up.